That tie rod's not attached. It snapped right on off. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. My name is Jack. This is Gas Diesel Garage. And in today's episode, well... Oh, wait. My wife's home. Give me... Give me just a second. My darling, come give me a hug. Now we can get back to work. Here's a free gas diesel garage relationship tip. When your wife comes home, you better run to the car to give her a hug and a kiss and tell her how beautiful she is because you only have one. Well, some countries you have many of them, but I only have one, my one and only. Anyways, let's get to the video. Today's episode of Gas Diesel Garage is going to be one of those, don't get screwed by the dealer, and I sure as hell am not. So I'm going to teach you guys how to put inner and outer tie rods in. I already have my tie rods. I got them cheap on Amazon from Detroit Axle. I have a link in the description below if you have a 2007 Dodge Charger or anyways you'll you'll see but here's the inners and here's the outers now why am I replacing the tie rods well I had an unfortunate episode where my daughter was back in her car out of the driveway and she turns and the tie rod snaps yeah see how that wheel is straight Steering wheel is straight too, by the way. See how that's straight? Let's go on over here and look at the carnage. Okay, that doesn't look like that. So, let's investigate further. Oh, there we go. Oh, that tie rod's not attached. It snapped right on off. So being that this vehicle is an 07 and it's got some age on it and miles, we're just going to do all of it. And uh, it's fairly easy, believe me. So let's get this thing jacked up and uh, let's get started. Now in order to start tearing this stuff apart, we need a couple of tools. The first thing is you're going to need a socket about a 22 millimeter. You should already have this socket because this is the socket that takes the wheels off the lug nuts. So you should already have that. And if you have access to an impact, use this because it's a pain in the butt trying to get that thing, that nut off of the outer tie rod. And you need a BFH. That's what a BH, BFH means. Here's a quick disclaimer. I have to be totally honest with you guys. There's one thing that you're going to need this, the, uh, the shop to do, and that is to get an alignment on it. Because I can only get it close as much as I can by measuring with the tape measure, making sure I have enough length on each side so you're not towed in, towed out, and you know, pigeon toed, if you will. So it's going to have to be aligned anytime you're messing with this steering stuff. Uh, you're putting a steering rack in, tie rods, uh, I mean, shoot, I mean, even if you do, uh, um, you know, ball joints, stuff like that, always, always go get it professionally aligned. Let's get back to it. Now that I got it loose, it's a little bit easier here, which is kind of cool because the way Dodge is, they put their steering racks on the outside of the subframe. That's a good thing. And I can tell that these tie rods have probably already been done 
because it's got a hose clamp on it. It usually doesn't have a hose clamp. Uh, it usually has a steel band uh, with OE parts. I use a zip tie. I mean, you know, it's just as good, but it's okay. You, you can put that, that, uh, that hose clamp back on if you want, but what we want to do is we want to take that off and this one off because we need to gain access to the inner tie rod. We need to take that off because I'm going to take the whole thing off in one assembly and then measure it on out so I don't really have to recounting the threads here and uh, we can get it close enough to be aligned and we can actually drive it to the alignment shop with, uh, out getting in, a, in an accident. Now here's my left side assembly. Now how I'm going to do this is that I'm so I don't really have to, you know, dial it in too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a, a measurement from that end to this end, right in there, with a tape measure, and that's going to give me my length that I need for the left side. And the reason why I want to do that is because I'm still going to have to take this apart because I need the bellows boot. I need to redo the our I need to reinstall that on the new stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and get that measurement. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. Looks like it's about, uh, say about 17. Not too worried about it being really off because like I said, the alignment uh, is going to dial everything in. So. Uh, all we need to do is hopefully just put both sides at 17 uh, inches on each side. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now the, now the only two parts that we need to transfer, like I said, that snap ring there and the bellows boot. So let's take our new one. That's the inner tie rod. I'll slide that over like this. Slide that on and our new jam nut. Next, our tie rod. We'll just screw that on and start taking a measurement. Okay, adjusted it in as much as I could so I can get that 17 inches. And you see here, I'm a little bit off. 
know, about a quarter of an inch. So that just means I need to turn the outer tie rod in just a little bit more so I can be precise. Correction, I gotta turn the tie rod out so I can get the longness, if that makes sense. Okay, Let's see what we got. Almost there, a couple more turns. Let's see. All right. All right. A little more. All right. That I would think is close enough. Because, like I said, when this thing gets aligned, it's going to be. Uh, dialed in anyway so uh, I think we got that at least close enough to stick back on the car and be able to drive it to the alignment shop so ne next thing we gotta do is just do the same thing we did to this one to that one that right side
Okay, now that you did your inner and outer tie rods on your charger, now you got to take it to the dealer or a shop that has an alignment machine that looks just like this, where the vehicle will go up onto this lift, it'll drive on, and then the uh, technician will put sensors on each one of the wheels. And you see these little flashing lights here? Well, they actually read the sensors and it tells the computer where your alignment is. And then what the mechanic does, he dials it in by turning the tie rods and uh, that's how your alignment is done. And when you have an alignment done, make sure you get your printout. And it looks like this. You see the red part right there? That was out really bad. But now the green down there shows it within spec. So uh, definitely go get that thing aligned. So if you enjoyed this episode of Gas Diesel Garage, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, uh, check out the merch at the bottom, and um, we'll just have to see you next time. Peace.